Hello. I want to start by congratulating you all by, um, for, for get, really getting into the spirit of the event. I've been working the tables for the last 24 hours and I've been very, very impressed with the level of enthusiasm that I've seen. Also, having so many people working all night and focused very hard on their hacks has been fantastic to see. So I just want to say that many of you have earned our respect today.
paper hand, which we thought was a pretty nice touch, and the side of the box on which the hand is placed. We have a sharp sensor that we read and action with an Arduino board that actually fell. Sorry about that. So we use a camera, a simple camera, it's very cheap, for supervising the gestures. And uh, you can scribble in the air and with just a white glove in your hand. Uh, an, inter an interesting extension. Before you couldn't log in more than once to Messenger, it will take you off uh, on where you stood before and you could log in on, in another place. But now you could log in more than once. So this would help establish which of the two instances of Messenger is actually the active one. Also, regarding image recognition, if we could extend this application to recognize not only gestures but faces, we could restrict access to our accounts. Uh, for instance, when we are in public places, maybe we. Yes, sir, sure. okay. I'm going to have to show up. I'm going to have to show up. Just a reminder to everyone that we do have 90 seconds. Okay. Um, we're going to have to move on. Okay. Um, thank you. Next team is team number three, Tequila Worms, team name Tequila Worms. <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, basically, we came here to have fun and to, new, to do new things. And we basically made a new approach to a very old game, that's Snake. And what's the problem with Snake? You can only have one player and it's kind of boring. What we did with Node.js and Canvas is something that looks like this. And there's a colleague of mine over there that is simulating about three players. And we're basically eating each other up. And that's about all. But we did have a really good time testing it out and that's about it. Time to spare. Uh, the next one is um, number four, which is Hacksinger or CT. Go ahead. Hello, uh, my name is Bruce Alpers. I'm a hack Hacksinger. As you know, there is a big problem with security nowadays, and a lot of that is stolen. I'm talking specifically about Yahoo Messenger. There are a lot of ARC decoders that allow somebody else to read your messages. So I created a proxy software that hacks into Yahoo Messenger and encodes the adds an additional layer of encryption to the conversation. We will synchronize the app with the Yahoo Messenger and I will be talking for myself with myself. It somehow looks like Yahoo Messenger Windows. So if I type for example hi, how are you? Uh, the um, the software sends the message, the encrypted message, and it gets the encrypted message and decrypts it. Now, if we show the window, the actual uh, uh, conversation is encrypted. And more than that, the encryption is in real time. So if we type a message, for example, this is an encrypted message, it, it does encrypt it, encrypts it in real time. So it's a big opportunity to save your conversations from being stolen from somebody else. And uh, the encryption algorithm it was also written by me based on fully on mathematical uh, equations. Um, this is basically it. Thanks. Okay, we're going to go to number five, which is square sweet by the tweet process. Hi. I am for me and my team <laughs> wanted to create something fun uh, during this hack, so we got here with no ideas. And while I was uh, watching the presentations, I saw something interesting with uh, IPL. So we wanted to test it out. Basically what we did is a great um, uh, connector to IPL and Twitter using community tables and uh, we wanted to see if I, for example, uh, want to know what people are connected to this event, I want to show your faces. So what it does is uh, uh, connecting to uh, okay. uh, what it does is connecting to uh, IPL and uh, by your profile location is putting all your faces on uh, on maps. 
using place finder and uh, geolocation. Something cool, if I, for example, uh, um, wanted to Uh, several 
images in uh, to create from several images from Flickr one image using the uh, transparency uh, different algorithms of uh, uh, it's uh, kind of complicated I will show you uh, when I press create images uh, the application will uh, create an image uh, from two images from Flickr
in uh, Bucharest, for example, Bucharest. So now, what uh, our group did is carried uh, via YQL. They've carried uh, Yahoo weather service and they provided you the information for this one. So the second plugin that you write uh, uses again, uh, so you can ask it, for example, what time it is. I miss it, actually. And now uh, YQL uh, will fetch a uh, site where, uh, which hosts an atomic clock and get, it, get it the time, uh, the GMT time uh, that uh, that uh, atomic clock uh, was serving. The last plugin, we have another one, but that one is uh, purposeless. The final plugin that we like the most is the plugin that uh, basically can answer you any question. So basically you can ask him, tell me, for example, how to make a paper airplane, for example. So now he will fetch the answer for Yahoo Answers, the best answer that he finds, and will deliver you the answer to that question. And there is a final plugin which actually is telling something random or something like this. We will serve. Okay, so 
pick number 14 are the reigning champions of Pat Hugh the Leo Tomoki. This is um, Team Pandemic or Pat Hello, um, the spread of pandemic, such as swine flu across the world, is a big problem. And the public were often misled by the media and their sensationalist headlines to spread panic. So our system shows outbreaks um, reported by health organisations such as the WHO and the CDC, and it plots them on maps. And it can also detect zombies since it's International Zombie Week. <laughs> and it uses YQL, Twitter, and Google Maps. And for example, we'll um, try and guess the geolocation from the news feeds of these organisations and we'll plot them on, as you can see, this web channel globe. Um, right in Google Chrome, or just use it. Um, and also plugs into user generated content, like on this page, it makes use of some jQuery, and it'll find tweets in your area with keywords, like if the keyword here is zombie, so that's local tweets and our uh, local Flickr photos, but it doesn't seem to be any that can do attack with that naked. And you can also um, report any incidents so of any sort of um, diseases in your area and it will automatically detect your location from the browser and map on the screen. Um, we'd just like to thank Yahoo and Anil especially for bringing us here and picking up with our constant emails. <laughs> and um, we hope people find that back useful. Okay, next up, team number 15, Lexi got me by the Shaolin Quarters. Hello, my name is Christian. Um, basically, what you can do with the hack that you build is find the most talented people that you can work with on the project. So, you come here uh, in the morning at this open hack, and uh, you're alone, you have an idea, you know that you want to build something on um, some technologies, but you don't have uh, don't have a team, don't have people that can work with you. So, use Nexi.me, it's online. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, sorry for logging in someone else's account, but I sort of got banned from LinkedIn for too many eBay calls. Okay. So, basically, you have a dashboard with the project. Uh, let's add a new one. So basically what you do, you add skills, let's say PHP, and you get some questions for that specific skill, let's say MySQL, and you add them to the team. So we build a matcher for uh, LinkedIn profiles based on uh, uh, their, their skills, based on their uh, info. We've done, uh, we've worked on the Java framework and uh, also, we use IQL for uh, obtaining uh, their GitHub account. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next team, team number 16, why motion by the guides? Hi, everybody. My name is Andre Blasch. I represent the team, the guides, and we developed a project called Why Motion the Emotion Analyzer. Uh, our project uh, answers a simple question, how, the, how does uh, an audience really feel at the gathering? Uh, to do this, uh, we started by thinking that uh, uh, the communication between uh, two persons is done mostly by uh, body language and gestures, uh, rather than verbal communication. So uh, when you try to uh, see if an event uh, to try to get feedback from an event, uh, you do uh, feedback forms or maybe you do social media analyzing after the event to get a grasp of how the event was going. Was going. Uh, we proposed another method that uh, uses uh, uh, face detection and gesture recognition uh, provided by face.com and uh, data sets from Flickr to uh, get a grasp of the get a grasp of the uh, people uh, in the, at the event. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to demo a little bit. So we try to we uh, try to see how people are doing at uh, this open hack. Uh, you can see that uh, here the legend says that if it's red, it's, uh, the people are not very happy, and if it's green, the people are very happy. We're going to look for some images that are at least close to green. Uh, we can see that the girl here is smiling, so the mood in, the, in this photo is quite okay. Uh, we can oh. <laughs> This is that. <laughs> Yeah. 
um, adds a little gaming on top of the news reading where everyone does each day. So I got some RSS feed randomly from Yahoo and um, let's see. Okay, so you get uh, the news reading process which is just headlines and the uh, normal types and a, a countdown system which if it, if it goes below zero it will decrease uh, a score somewhere on the right side, which is, cannot be seen at this point. But anyway, there's a score over there somewhere. And if you can navigate through it, pressing enter or uh, or uh, right uh, right arrow, it, it in the background it learns what your preference is. Right when you press enter, it, the item has been marked as seen and read. And in the future, you try it based on a basic. Um, uh, on a basic classifier, it tries to, to exclude uh, the items that have already been marked as not appropriate. So just the gaming system, the, the part that's missing right here from the screen is the part on the right which contains the, the points, uh, the point view system. I don't know why that happened. Sorry. Yeah, I guess that's the pointing system I want to display right there on the right side. Okay, every time you press uh, uh, below the, the line, the pointing system increases. Thank you very much, sir. Team number 20, Systems System Talk to Art by Gads. So, hi, my name is Andre, and uh, we've created this real hack somehow along the lines of Fix My Street, but uh, a bit uh, different. And uh, the main difference is that we want to focus not on the, strictly on the issues, but most, most more on the institutions that have to fix the issues. So uh, we realized that uh, in order to make the institution to care about the issues, we have to uh, break their public image somehow. So the idea is to create some uh, uh, pages for the institutions that will accumulate all the unsolved issues and the solved one so that if they don't do their job, then that page will, will look really bad. But if they do a great job, that page can be used for, uh, for the election. So this is the first page. Uh, you can see for some statistics. Um, uh, we have a list of issues, in this case only a broken tree that someone has reported. Uh, for each issue, we have comments, we have uh, file attached, attachments, uh, you can comment even more. Um, a new user can uh, report a new issue uh, by simply putting it on the map. And um, on the institution page, we create a link dynamic equation of tags between issues and institutions. And that's all. We'll develop a question. Moving on to number 22, on location music by Salt Boots.
PHP. Now we're going to log out and we'll log into another uh, account to see like uh, how this. Uh, Come on, you help me, please. Okay, I'm going to have to stop you here. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Alright, over the other side again, we've got team number 25, social RFID by Kiss. Okay, that's the name of the team we have the sales, Kiss. Let's keep the short and simple. We want to make things easier for the user. Uh, Kiss, uh, this application, uh, social RFID and uh, requires you to log in on our site. Uh, I have already logged in, so I log in. My email password. We didn't work on the interface, just the course. Okay, I'm logged in. I'm logged on uh, Facebook, I'm logged on Twitter. What this application do, uh, does is use the Ares uh, ID or you can uh, port it on the NFC. And uh, the user doesn't need to open his mobile phone and uh, to check in or to post on the social network. Only swaps his uh, RFID to the reader and everything is done for him. So, an example, the server is started. Uh, we will see here, I had already uh, 30 minutes to check out the Pisa Palace. I will try with another card. Oh, that's a fair, uh, it's already checked in. The same. Uh, the server is very easy to configure. Uh, I will close it for now. And, uh, okay, I will move on. Okay. I have another card here. Uh, Okay, open the application. Try again. This has zero. And this works. Okay. So, this is the application method that is easier for the user. Thank you. Okay, moving on to team number 26 Facebook animated by 88 euros. Hello, everyone. My name is Stefan, and uh, on behalf of Team A8 Neuron, I will present uh, uh, a new Facebook application. Uh, yesterday I got the idea with my colleague uh, Dan to create a Facebook application. Uh, you all know that Facebook logs uh, your entire history, so what if you create a movie? And uh, you can choose which people to play in that movie. <coughs> so it will be like an animation. Uh, sadly, we didn't have enough time to finish it, but we created a server uh, using Node.js and the uh, uh, Yahoo user interface to fetch the comments history in, uh, from Facebook and create the animation. So, this is me. And this is my first comment. And this is more like a prototype. And it shows chronologically the comments. For example, if you post a status and then people comment on your status, more stick figures arrive and the bubbles pop up. And it will be like an interesting movie. <laughs> we, that's okay. Okay, so next up we have two hacks. Um, first of two is uh, the web trace of silver. Uh, my name is uh, Florin Yescu. I work for a company that is um, doing um, auditing and also penetration testing. Uh, one of the parts of the radical hacking and test we done is uh, information gathering and uh, in medical hacking documentation you can find how to do Google hacking or backdoor hacking. So, uh, 
this stuff is uh, not handy to anyone, but pretty useful. Uh, we can, um, why not leverage users, normal users that don't master uh, filtering and Google hacking with uh, more um, power to the search engine. So we did, did a search engine that optimizes the searches. For example, if I want to find out myself on the net, uh, I can, with the web trace, just place the name and uh, I'll show you all, all your records, links, uh, pictures, and uh, news if they are available. Also, if you want to, maybe you want to, to trace some documents, you just go to, to our website, the web trace, and you will have all the documents. What happens if you go to Google? It will give you very, very queries because any search engines are optimized. Our optimize is uh, done what you need. Uh, I move to the second one. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, second, second one is the link trace, for example. So the 27 day object. Okay, so, so the web trace, we, we, we used uh, both technology, and um, the next step was to, is to integrate it uh, with IPL intelligent uh, technology to give more power to the traces. So, we did an IQL implementation using um, uh, classified document, documents taken from Wikileaks. So, we improved the, the leaks uh, on uh, classified documentation, then now we are empowered to, to search state secrets based on uh, uh, the origin. Actually, if you go to the web trace and you go to leaks, uh, you'll find some uh, classified documents about uh, Romania very easily. The next step of our development is to integrate both uh, technologies and to empower uh, users with um, all this uh, Google hacking to be very handy and very useful and to challenge these search optimizers that gives you not what you want but what uh, the results are given on based on the optimizer skills and uh, not on what you, you want. You can compare the, the both results, Google or with WordPress, and you, you will see the difference. It will get much closer to what you need. For example, if you if you go to the web place uh, and search by documents and put a on net, the first link will be a tutorial. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, moving to number 28, Halo Fighter Search by Virgil Melin. Go ahead. Hello, due to a uh, small technical problem, I'm supposed to show you on this screen. So, basically, like uh, we said, that we shouldn't start our presentation. I'm a big fan of K1, and uh, we as K1 fans have a problem. Most of the data is found on the original K1 site, k1.go.gp, and we also, uh, as fans, have data on websites like um, I don't know. Um, my, my, my project was to integrate as much of the data available online as possible. To do this, I created a custom search engine specifically for uh, K1 fighters. I call it K1 fighter data search. For example, if we search for Bother Harry. It will look on the internet for all the data available. It will parse via the boss. Uh, it will gather images. It will go through the original uh, K1 site and get uh, the data that is available there. And it will also go to Wikipedia and show the data that users have added to the internet. Thank you.
was number 29. Automated CSV by Cyrus Eclipse. Serious. Good evening, everyone. Um, for this short presentation, I will make a short impression in the enterprise world. Um, more exactly, the part of performance testing and automated performance testing. More and more companies are asking for more high resolution data on I mean, uh, what means performance testing for their web servers. What I'm going to show you is the part that handles reports. For now, uh, the performance testing area has improved a lot, but the reports have not. We can see here an example of report and how it looks like. It's very hard to read. What I did is a simple Java file, a software that actually takes all these reports and makes one output. You will see right now. Okay, so we have the configuration, it worked very fast, and we have here the report that is very easy to read, and these sort of reports we can build <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, so we see here performance data that is very fast acquired, and we can show to the client, and this is exactly what he needs in a very short amount of time. Thank you. Thank you. Over to number 30, the back men by the back men. Hello, Romania. Hello, Bucharest. Are you still here? Yeah. Great. I'm Lucian, and I represent, I represent the Batman team from the heart of Transylvania. <laughs> today, I'm going, today, I'm going to present on a web app, the Batman app, actually. It's a web app that uh, integrates directly into Yahoo Mail. The best expression that describes our app is main user interface enhancement. The problem we identified with is the fact that the mail, as it is now, mimic the classical postal mail. And uh, the technology, the nowadays mails, is based on, was developed a few de de decades ago. So, we, uh, as it is now, the mail has a lot of limitations. And uh, we figured out how to uh, limit to improve the Yahoo mail. So, sorry. Uh, we figured out a way to hack uh, the most popular Yahoo service and the most popular mail uh, system worldwide, Yahoo Mail. And, uh, here is uh, what we have done in 24 hours. Our app uh, has two main features. One is the thread discussions. Uh, all your emails are now organized and grouped uh, as a discussion. You no longer have uh, one email for every reply, as it is now in the classic Yahoo, even in the uh, beta one. So, as you can see right here, uh, I have uh, five uh, conversations by email and they all are grouped or one, uh, under one, uh, only one uh, discussion or topic. Uh, if I click, just a second, it will take, I guess, some time, it's very heavy. <laughs> okay, here we will have uh, the entire discussion. Uh, Drew, sorry. Team number 31, map of the forest in the areas, and we plan to do things in. That's all I said. Hello. Um, the problem we are working on is uh, trying to map all the forests that are being forested or have been in the recent past. Um, the technical issue we encountered is how to um, look all over the forest. Um, we found a solution by using the OpenStreetMap, which covers, we believe, most of the forests. There are 16,000 of them. And we've uh, gathered this information and uh, put it over a satellite image from uh, Google Maps. 
uh, we are building this as a crowdsourcing solution in which um, volunteers would uh, rate if the forest they are seeing looks like being deforested, like this area here. So uh, we are hoping to get as much information as we can to present it to relevant authorities. Thank you. Referring to my ownership, uh, that team membership being we can do this in the way. So, I think I'll go to Haki Kazi by Oditus. Uh, hi guys, uh, what we did here is a bit of a game. Uh, I hope you have a sound. We tried to do some Node.js servers, live things with JavaScript, uh, and uh, we created this game. Yeah. yeah, I just, you know, just told me that we should go. So, uh, I was thinking... <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, let me show you this map. I'm the blue dot. I'm the blue dot. I can move all around. I can blow myself up and destroy other bits of pieces around me. Then I, I spawn on the right hand side. That's basically what I do. I blow things up and then I build walls. I'm not too smart, but I can do some stuff. No. Uh, there you go, I can, I can move. and 
their own uh, the, the same geographical area, or they can actually type in the location and um, find for um, get results of concerts. Uh, one of them, by default, uh, lists the uh, events that uh, in the same location, so we should get all the musical events of uh, going to be performed in Bucharest in the next days. Uh, what it does also grabs uh, some YouTube videos to in order to show music to allow so some of us can maybe go back and uh, have some information on that. We're well, using uh, Yahoo Pipes, first of all, uh, we're using YQL, uh, Yahoo uh, Place Finder, and uh, some other very interesting APIs. Uh, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Alex and uh, we've built an application to help tourists make the most of their limited time in the new city. So um, it, it is built to, uh, to give you the perfect tour of the nearby uh, sites, uh, including the hottest, uh, the hottest landmarks near you that are easily accessible to you. So let's say now I'm in northern London. Just arrived there, and uh, we're using uh, Google Places to find landmarks near near my current location. I can even filter them. You can go for a cemetery, which one can. Okay, so um, uh, then it uh, searches for uh, photos or check-ins uh, that people did on uh, on uh, uh, Flickr or or other or. Um, Koala and uh, stuff like that, and uh, it ranks these locations near you and gives, it gives you this uh, this tour, this guided tour. And that's about it. Thanks. Thank you. Next, we have number 36. Why answer? Well, fill your team. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Christian, and together with my friend Irina, we've uh, come up with a hack for mobile devices. Uh, the purpose of our hack is to bring the Yahoo answers to mobile devices in a friendly and easier way. So we we lined up uh, two apps. One app is web-based for HTML5 devices like uh, Android and uh, iPhone. Uh, this is the web-based. I will show you. Uh, in the main view, we can browse the main categories from Yahoo Answers, it has a time animation and uh, we can view questions from a certain category, we can go back, we can uh, make a search for a specific keyword uh, and we also made an app for uh, Symbian 3 devices, uh, this app is built in QML, a new language from Nokia, this is the main interface of the app. Uh, it has the same functionality as the web app. You can see uh, answer for a specific question. You can go back. You can search for a specific keyword. And uh, this is uh, our app. Next up, we have team number 36. Why answer? I feel it. Well, I just. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll try that again. Team number 37. DC 48. Yes, we can. Um, for the judges' reference, this team has been updated by uh, Team Gamma Elastic. I don't know if the team is here. So, yes, we can. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Hi Romania, our project is for Romania and we can believe we can improve uh, uh, things in the public system in Romania by providing uh, the citizens with a solution to evaluate their relation with uh, public institutions and public uh, workers and uh, provide uh, general feedback. Um, our goal is to provide a complete database with all the uh, public institutions in Romania and public uh, workers and we will collaborate with uh, NGOs and uh, other uh, 
civil society associations and um, we would like to present the information using uh, on a website uh, using technologies like Drupal and uh, Yahoo Maps um, and uh, present uh, different statistics uh, on a general public opinion for uh, for the whole country or for uh, some institutions or basically for uh, people working uh, at uh, public institutions. We will also provide the user with the ability to search for a public institution and uh, a public uh, worker. Uh, so uh, all the information will be there and uh, people will know uh, who to contact for um, a specific problem. Um, the, inst the institution page uh, will share the basic details and you will be able to locate the institution. Also, um, we would uh, have a comment area and uh, the general impression in the last, uh, let's say, 30 days. We want to make it expressive and not to use uh, statistical numbers, uh, rather use uh, something like emoticons and uh, the people can see the general uh, feel. Team number 38, What's on TV by Silver Go ahead. I present uh, Team Silver Line, and the uh, thing I want to present is uh, actually uh, it got to be a widget, but we, we, thought, uh, we thought it at first to be a um, table base, a database that we acquired from uh, TV magazines. So we gathered the uh, uh, information about the uh, uh, TV shows from all uh, for a couple, from a couple of um, uh, TV magazines, and we gathered information about the shows, the time of the shows, the the type of the shows, so we can see if it's a movie, a uh, uh, news show, or political show, or anything like that. Uh, we demonstrated a simple query using uh, Yahoo Bias. We integrated it with the uh, So basically, we can improve our uh, TV experience. We all we all spend a lot of time zapping, so this can practically tell us what we can see between uh, nine hour and between nine to ten. What the type of shows, for example, we want to see a movie between those hours, and we we put the the query using this argument. Uh, also, we uh, we we can um, integrate the database with the other. Uh, Databases that we query from uh, Wikipedia or uh, IPDM, the uh, International Movie Database, so we can uh, actually see information about uh, TV shows or uh, movies or anything we uh, displayed from our query. Okay, thank you very much. Next we have Team Pardine, who has two hats. So the judges reference number 39 on the sheets, pick a height by Pardine. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm going to show you two hacks. The first one is called Take a Hike. It's a politically correct hack. You can see some details on, on the things it was built with. The idea is to help you as a voter see who you're voting for based on the activity of your politician and the number of times, this being the most important one, he fled his party to the opposing party. This data was not public. I had to scrape it and we have Tops, best of them, worst of Where are they fleeing? To where are they fleeing? We have the worst ones. This guy has moved around. You can see details of him and how many times he talked, his uh, way he went, and using the other technologies I can show some information about him. He doesn't have any use, but this guy, uh, uh, but this guy does you have news, so you can get news with him. You also get a bird's eye view with a heat map. This represents where they're, the, uh, the places where most people are from, the ones which are flat, the uh, thing. And these are the guys who never talk. Thank you.
we have another hat, like Brian Wright. That's what I made on the judges' sheets. Wicked. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the second hack is very simple. I'm using YQL and Yahoo Boss to basically pull data from various sources and give you an overview uh, of information based on a particular subject. It's, you can use it either if you want to see information about something. For example, open hack, you get Flickr, Twitter feeds, Wikipedia, news. It's not really that well. Uh, or if you want to create some sort of news hub based on, I don't know, like your local town or something like that, and have some more examples. For example, Sama, again, that's actually. So we have Twitter, Wikipedia, News, Flickr, Yahoo Questions, and Blogs. And another example is Drupal, where again you get all this information put in a portal like uh, structure. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moving to number 40, South Friday Night by Scoot Tinko. Scoot Tinko. Hello, Thomas. My name is Max, and I'm the guy who was here at the table yesterday. Uh, my, team is, my team is called uh, Scoot Tinko. You know the famous CD. Uh, I'm part of the Omega Security Team, and my team called it Cheetah. And we're here to present you a self-explaining Yahoo one based on instant messaging using a live Yahoo course I skipped in vulnerability from the other day. Uh, I call this real hack. Uh, in a best case scenario, if a victim is uh, logged into Yahoo mail, uh, meaning it has its cookies, cookies, cookies set and focus our malicious web page, then we have its cookies to go wild. So let's play this.
so we built this app here, and um, when you load it, it uses HTML5 uh, location technology to recognize where you are, and we'll just figure out in Bucharest. Now, it's looking up the weather uh, in Bucharest, and then fetches music that matches the location and matches the weather at the location. It's nice weather outside, so we can play nice music here. Um, let's have a look at another city from, let's say, Chicago, and last time we checked, it was raining in Chicago. Feed me if you don't want to hack you. And 
that uh, remind me to refill this uh, tank of food. Of, uh, food. So it's very easy, and uh, if you want uh, uh, to be in a relation with your pet, uh, you must go buy this. Thanks. Okay, we move on to team number 56, Games of the World Act from Magic Mirror. Hello, I would like to talk to you about a project that is uh, very close to my heart. Well, it's about uh, creating games that matter, uh, games that uh, have a significance for all of us. We don't want to play just for fun, we want to play to have fun and also to learn and to be better. Uh, we have developed a small MVP here. What it allows is uh, it allows anyone that uh, have a basic knowledge of computers to create uh, an exciting brain development game based on Flickr photos. So you can choose your own photos or you can uh, search for photos, it's easy. Uh, actually what we have come we wanted to create a library for this kind of games and we created an example. Uh, this example is based on um, this kind of game, which is a brain development game, and we created it based on um, Flickr examples, Flickr uh, pictures, optimistic Flickr pictures. So, if you can see here, this is the phone. Uh, work on phone or uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, tablet and uh, computers. Uh, so uh, you start it and you shoot your picture and it tells you to remember these pictures. And uh, then you click on start and you say, did this picture change or not? And uh, you say yes, it changed. So you get some points. Now it didn't change, so uh, you get another point and change. It didn't change. Uh, based 
away from uh, Romanian economics problem, we created an application that allows you to, to report tax evasion using the Postcard <laughs> API. Using Foursquare API, we we get the venues in near near your your location. We're waiting for location now. The venues are listed. We can select the venue, add the amount that we pay, and then post if uh, we got the receipt or we didn't get one. And on the web-based application, you can see the map with all the venues and based on the amounts that they didn't emit or receive, uh, you can have a report on them. So basically, we're trying to point the fingers on, on people that do tax evasion. So maybe government and institution will, will take measure. Thanks, this is our act and we hope it will improve. Hello, I'm Evin from Oslo, and uh, we have a very interesting, uh, peculiar uh, app. Uh, let me tell you about how we come up with uh, this idea. Uh, we were actually out uh, in front of the school and a car went by with uh, its windows down and loud music. And I thought, oh, well, party. Mm. What happens at parties? People dream, mostly. So, what if a guy, let's say a party organizer, uh, needs to make some extra money and he wants to make his own brand of alcohol? So, but he doesn't have time, he has to go all around town uh, arranging the party. So, uh, he needs an iPhone app, so, uh, or, <laughs> or a smartphone app to track his uh, process. So, uh, we uh, hooked up uh, an Arduino board with some sensors to simulate the uh, distillery process and uh, send the information through the internet uh, down to the smartphones. Here you can see an example where my internet connection is down, but if this is how it looks, it gets real-time data and uh, you can uh, make it override some parameters if you think you need the uh, more quantities or speed up the process, I don't know. Uh, also, uh, there is a web, web application to do exactly the same thing, that is, if you don't have a smartphone at hand. And, well, that's kind of about it. The idea was to uh, control a physical process through, uh, through a smartphone. And, yeah, don't forget to drink the alcohol in large quantities, kill your brain cells. We are hackers and we need them. Stay safe. Thank you. Okay, hacker number 59. Out there, I am Susan. I go on that. Hello, I am Dolini uh, from Robotic Web Team. Uh, today I am going to talk to you about uh, outdoor ads. The problem with outdoor ads, in, at least in Romania, is that uh, they are really hard to, to target. And to, plus there's, there's a little middle man that has to go to the billboard and change the ad once in a while. So let, let, let's take for example oh, uh, this little screen is a billboard. So we, we, we hooked it to an Arduino board which connects to, to a web server. Uh, and the web server uh, gathers data from, from the Arduino and uh, also queries YQL and uh, helps us make the Uh, so let's see how, how it works. Uh, now 
how we are preparing the white well based on, on the tags and data gathered from, from the Arduino. And the, the winner is the food adder. So uh, if you see the food adder has uh, 10 schools and 10 residential, uh, 10 residential areas. Uh, so, Okay, next up we have number 62, which is the Yahoo 4. 
probably see that around, um, it's over there. Um, her eye was a practical to demonstrate for me on stage and has the sound that takes many minutes. Alright, so everyone here is going to be being part of our presentation today. I have a video of the uh, final Okay. Hi guys, I'm Jared from the Robofan team and uh, I will actually start as a profession. Yesterday morning I was very much like this guy. Waking up in the morning, grabbing my phone and looking for the emails and the weather data. But I promise I will not do it again. Why? Because at this point I have available the Apple Farm over there. The Apple Farm actually gathers data from all the Apple systems and presents it to me in a funky way at the glance of an eye. For example, I might wonder how's the weather. I just look at the backgrounds. You see, they're just switching mechanically, switching up and down. Do I have a busy day? Yeah, this definitely looks like this day ahead because I look at the email tree over there, I see a lot of lights. Uh, my friends are up at this point. Oh, yes, yes, you see the ships over there. At this point, everybody is online and I'm listening to them. Oh, ships are up. Why not that? I just look, I just look to the money, and uh, when you look like that, it's speaking really fast. I'm just wondering if this links to the Apple Weather API, API, to the real weather outside. It's speaking really fast, then I better take, take my hat. It's going to be storm. The hardware we've been using here, I would, uh, I would say that you don't, you don't need a PC to run this because you wouldn't want a PC in your bedroom. It's just an Arduino and a better layer to hear the other sounds. Uh, we have a engine, CrossFit, uh, a child application actually that we have a and of course the, the Apple API servers. I would like to invite you to join us at our presentation desk over there for a live demo whenever I like. Thank you. Okay, so my name is Robert, I represent the Beamers team and uh, this is our solution to uh, an everyday problem that we face. It's transferring things from one device to the other. So in, in the next example, I will show you how a link can be quickly transferred from an iPad to a MacBook and, and back again to an iPad. So, uh, in the picture you can see my friend browsing uh, um, a site, there's a flash embed in, in that site and he isn't able to see it because it's flash and he wants to see it on his computer so uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to open up a browser, our extension listens for push notifications from the iPad application so my friend Nick will hit a bookmark list in the bookmark uh, toolbar in Safari and there you go the site is open with one click on my laptop computer so I can easily see the flash and that file so the other use case was you're, you're browsing the, the web on your computer and you just want to take the iPad and read the article on, on your couch we have this little Chrome extension that you can click and when you click it, it will hopefully, there you go, uh, the iPad gets a push notification from the Apple server and you can click open and the website is right there. So you can keep, you can transfer the links with just one click. Uh, we intend to extend this uh, solution for Android and other mobile devices and also other browsers. This is really the quickest and easiest way to transfer a link between multiple devices. So this is it. Thank you very much, uh, Number 64 is Playlist Romantic by Flying Dragon. Hello again. I don't have a hardware hack. I was pushed here due to some circumstances. And I am going to take advantage of this and hijack the hardware session and tell you that you might have not known that, but Rebecca Black is a punk and her song Friday is actually about anarchy and I'm going to show you why. 
I have a music hack called Playlist Nomadic. It's supposed to generate a playlist of songs based on whatever input you give it to, and optionally filtered by uh, a style. So this is the interface. It's pretty simple. And what I do is I use Yahoo Boss to search songmeanings.net for your input. I get a list of songs which are not structured. I use Echonest, the Echonest API, to get a structured list uh, of the songs. And then use Last.fm API via YQL to get the tags of all those songs and filter them. And I get a list of possible seeds which I then use if there's not enough songs, I use, again, YQL and Last.fm to get a list of related songs and assemble them. And there's two problems. I wanted to use Groovesharp to generate a playlist. They didn't allow me access to their API, so I had to use YouTube. And there's two problems here. Uh, the first one is that people talk a lot of crap on songmeanings.net. This is why you get Rebecca Black suggested when you want to listen to some punk. And she is around here somewhere. But you can see that it actually generates bangles and anti-flag and there's no effects around. Oh, there she is. And no effects. Again, she is here too. Next to Robbie Williams and well, Evolution Dance and other songs. And the problem is that using YouTube, I do not know if I get the actual song or some, something where someone commented or put the, the song title in the description. And again, this is another example, Kissing Nirvana, which is Angst and Sound of Madness. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm not going to the judges, but let's skip over number 65 for now and come back to that at the end. We're going to go to two new late entries, 66 and 67, which won't be on your sheets, so you need to add them. We're afraid I don't have their names right now, but I have done this, so we're going to be number 66. Uh, please tell us the judges your name. Hi, my name is Nick, I'm from Anderson SS. I'm going to present you a solution that helps um, to send a short message service or so SMS to um, phones all over the world. Um, this is the home page. Um, we've got coverage for um, more than, uh, I mean, all over the um, planet, over 60, 600 networks in almost 200 countries. Um, here's the link. You can check the prices, competitive prices, um, right on here.
Okay, we're going to move on to number 67, again, the hack team. Um, just uh, what I already mentioned here, that the, um, number 67 came into the event with his desktop and monitor. Um, that's uh, very impressive to um, So we'll go ahead. Hello, my, my name is Salim, and uh, together with my uh, colleague, uh, we developed an application that uh, potentially one day uses uh, people with disabilities uh, uh, hearing and uh, uh, speaking to communicate with their uh, friends via, via a messenger or other messenger systems uh, by using gestures. So, uh, the application that I present to you, as you can see, has a lot of buttons to for exactly. <laughs> and uh, uh, Marcel in front of me will help me demonstrate. So, uh, as you can see in the bottom, the application is uh, calibrating, the user was found, and uh, is now uh, tracking Marcel and this is every move. Uh, also, you can see the coordinates used uh, for the application. Uh, we can now, uh, the application has the possibility to learn, uh, to learn the moves and the gestures so that uh, you can easily define your own uh, uh, gesture-based language. Uh, to this I will ask Martin to take a position and uh, I'll give uh, this gesture a name, for example, right. Okay, I press start. And now end. The application now learns the new gesture. It's now learning and uh, it recognizes the state. If, the, if Marcel now moves back in, in other positions and back in the right position, you will see that uh, the application begins to recognize uh, the position. Uh, in the bottom you can see right underscore and uh, when uh, on a certain threshold, it, uh, the, a red message will appear. So uh, it will be sure to be a, a gesture. So we can now record another gesture, for example, like in the name, right? Start, and we have another gesture now, learning. Okay, the neural network is uh, right now, and you can see. So identifying the new state, the old state, right again. Uh, and you can find as much gestures as you want. Uh, you can find your own language. So hopefully one day this application will be able to integrate with uh, uh, messenger systems and uh, be able to uh, be able to help uh, people with disabilities to communicate uh, seamlessly over uh, using the uh, latest uh, IT technology. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay, on to our final hack, which is number 65. Um, this is my project. Hello, my name is Alex. I should have done some software hacking, but my friend didn't come. So I started to do some cultural hacking. I started to spread around the world about this great conference and started to blog. What do? And first I spoke to the organizers, I spoke to the chief down, which is there, and uh, I ate and had a lot of fun. Then, this was the best experience, I started to speak to the teams. I saw a lot of teamwork, um, very nice technologies, and all that cool stuff. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Yahoo Inc. for bringing this event to Romania and making uh, all of us our dream come true. Second, They were all smiling and there wasn't any flaw any time. And uh, third of all, I want to end 
quote, a quote from Mr. Crawford. Uh, you only live once and then you die. That's why you should bleach your hair and drink a beer. Thank you very much and a big round of applause for this event.